Mr. Hebblethwaite, um, when I was reading your biography, it seemed pretty light uh, on your experience as a chief executive officer. Are you in this mess because you don't know what you're doing, or are you just a shameless criminal? Before I answer that question, can I start, please, with an apology? Um, actually, an apology to um, the seafarers that were affected on Thursday last week, an apology to their families, and an apology to the 2,200 of our employees who have had to face very difficult questions over the last week or so. What's your salary, Mr. Hepplethwaite? My salary is a basic salary of £325,000. Do you have access to a performance-related bonus? I have access to two performance-related bonus, um, a short-term incentive plan and a long-term incentive plan. Do you think Both you've increased or decreased the value of P&O fair rates by your actions? I think that P&O was otherwise going to close and didn't have a future. And so if your employers are, might I suggest, mad enough to offer you a performance-related bonus, will you accept it or reject it? That is, I can't tell you how far that is from my thoughts. It's a thoughts. point of principle. Will you accept it or reject it? I, I don't know the answer to that. If we manage to save the company... As a decision for you, if I'm offering you a performance-related bonus and you've just sacked 800 people, will you, as a point of principle, say, I'm not going to take that? I don't know the answer to that. I'm not, I'm not, I, to, I've got to be honest, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on saving the business and getting the 800 seafarers new jobs. Right. Lots of other businesses in trouble follow perfectly legal routes, but... Um, you seem to be having no regrets about the decisions taken by your business. The last question for me whilst I've got you, Mr. Um, 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 Mr. Chairman, uh, with all your respect, uh, uh, having no regrets, you have not heard me saying that we have no regrets. We would, acknowledge you like, would you like to express also, uh, also, also, as DP World, we acknowledge the pain that this has caused to a lot of people, mm -hmm. employees, seafarers, their families, etc. So you're not hurt me saying that we do not acknowledge that pain. Well, I'm sure the families are grateful for your regrets after sacking them, Mr. Christensen. Are you going to sack Mr. Hebblethwaite for gross misconduct? I couldn't imagine that we would do that, no. There's absolutely no doubt that we were required to consult with the unions. We chose not to do that because we believe... You chose to break the law. Because we chose not to consult and we, will com and we are and will compensate everybody in full for that. I recognise that this is a really When difficult... you get in your car and drive down the motorway and you see the 70 mile an hour sign, do you say that that's not going to apply to me, I'm going to do 90 uh, because I think it's important that I do that? Is that how you go about your life? No. No, it isn't. Why didn't you do it? What was the moral justification for you not doing that? We've moved from one operating model to another. And you, haven't, you haven't escaped the law of this country. You've still got to do it within the legal framework. You can't just decide that you're going to absent yourself from the legal system of the United Kingdom. It, is, it was our assessment that the change was of such a magnitude that no union could possibly accept our proposal. Oh, you're and right about that. that, that I've mean, <laughs> never heard such farcical answers to a series of questions. So what are the new rates of pay to be offered to the new crews, how much are you paying them? So the average hourly rate of pay is £5.50. On top of that, there is a pension contribution, there is food yeah, and accommodation. Contribution. That's below the national minimum wage of this country. How do, you, how do you reconcile that? Where we are governed by national minimum wage, we will absolutely pay national minimum wage. Oh, this is an international seafaring model that is consistent with uh, models throughout the globe and our competitors. Do you live on it, Mr. Hubbard, £5.50 an hour? Could you, could you sustain your lifestyle at £5.50 an hour? No, you couldn't, could you? Why do you expect people who've got such responsible jobs to be able to do that? How do you expect them to be able to feed their families and pay their bills at £5.50 an hour? So there's a couple of very, very important points here. One, yes, it, one one's is called that gas, one's called electric. Those are the <laughs> important points. They can't pay their bills. There's some NDAs here, Mr Hepplethwaite. Are you going to rescind those? Because, quite frankly, the members of this committee think this is absolute thuggery uh, and criminality. You're behaving like gangsters to blackmail people in this, into this situation. Will you withdraw those NDAs and let people have the freedoms that we all enjoy? I assume you're talking to, about the confidentiality clause that's in the severance agreements? Gagging agreements, yes. It's a standard confidentiality clause, and actually it's there to, to protect both sides. Oh, 
You'll be familiar with your own human rights statement, uh, which yeah. adheres to the Universal Declaration on Human Rights, the ILO Declaration on Fundamental Principles and Rights at Work, the Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights, and yet you've completely trashed them in this. They're not worth... Are you going to take this down off your website because it's an insult? So I do not uh, believe that it's an insult, and I do not believe that any of what we have done... Uh, 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 you Ferry need to ask the 800 to people is in, is in conflict is in conflict with any of that of course it's a direct conflict I, I, you know we hear some ridiculous things but for you to say that those those principles still obtain when people have been summarily dismissed with no notice whatsoever and replaced by people on five pound fifty an hour is an outrage